I'm CJ with Starter Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to build this really cool DIY easel mirror. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> Before we get into the project, I just wanted to give an overview of what this DIY easel mirror will look like when it's completed. I'll have links down in the description below to the channels and the plans that I use to build this specific mirror. What's up guys, CJ here with Starter Builds. Today I'm going to walk you through all the materials you're going to need for this DIY easel mirror. It's very easy to put together and I'm going to walk you through exactly what you need. So stay tuned for that. So obviously we're going to need a mirror. This is going to be a 48 inch mirror that we're going to need. We're going to need two one by threes, two one by twos, two two by twos, four flat corner braces, three inch hinges, door hinges, as well as a uh, sheet of hardwood plywood. You could obviously get yours cut at the big box store. I have some other projects lined up, so I went ahead and got a full sheet. This is quarter inch um, sanded birch plywood. So that's what I used. Again, you can use whatever you want, but I just wanted to do a material breakdown. I'll have all of these listed out in the description below. So sweet, let's get building. What's up guys, CJ here from Starter Builds. Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to give this a like or subscribe if you're interested in anything DIY. I was inspired by this specific project from another channel called Shanty to Chic. Uh, I'll leave links in the description below to their video as well as the plans that I followed. But with any project, we're gonna start by measuring out our specific dimensions. You can find those down in the description below. Here you're gonna see me measuring out the plywood panel for the back of the mirror, pretty straightforward. Again, you can always get this cut at your local big box store, but if you wanna go ahead and cut it uh, at your shop, uh, you could do this with a table saw, circular saw. I use a Craig um, rip cut. Those are really easy for cutting down uh, sheets of plywood. Now that we have all of our materials cut to the right dimensions, we're gonna go ahead and start to assemble this mirror. We're gonna start with the plywood. We're gonna put that face down on top of the one by twos, and then we're gonna attach it with some staples.
Now that we have our mirror section set up, we're going to go ahead and assemble our easel part. This can be done with pocket holes. I'm just using a pocket hole jig here to easily do that. Now that we have all our pocket holes completed, you can go ahead and attach this with two and a half inch pocket hole screws. So once you have both of your mirror frames completed, the easel part and the mirror part, go ahead and lay your mirror part on top of the easel as I'm doing here. We're going to go ahead and take those 1x3s and ensure that each of those sections are flush and correctly lined up. We're going to put each of those 1x3s as I'm doing here on each side and then we'll go ahead and attach those with uh, brad nails. Now that we have the easel part and the mirror part uh, glued and brad nailed together, it's time to go ahead and put our hinges on. You can pick up a two pack of these from your local big box store for around four to six dollars depending on the style. It comes with the hardware which is really useful. So now I'm gonna go ahead and attach those.
So once you've completed attaching your hinges, all that is left to do is go ahead and fill those brad nail holes with some wood putty and some sawdust. From there, you can go ahead and sand it all the way up to 220 grit and then apply the finish of your choice. So for the final step, I went ahead and added some flat corner brackets as hardware. Uh, you could use whatever type of hardware you want, but I just thought this looked really cool for my specific project. So I went ahead and pre-drilled those holes, and then I went back and put in those specific screws as well. If you guys are new here, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a thumbs up if you like this video.